over time, man. Talk to me, man. Uh, this is a this is a good topic, right? You like here, this one. Man. I like this. You one. Like this one. Okay. Our overtime topic this week is: Who are your top candidates for Mister Football in Northeast Ohio? So what I did, bro, is I, I went with ten. I didn't put them in order by ranking one to ten. I just put down our, my ten players out of Northeast Ohio. I feel like should be the top candidates for Mister Ohio from Northeast Ohio. Mm-hmm. All right. So the first two people I'll talk about. Um, it's two kids. I wasn't able to get their stats. The other eight kids, I was able to get their stats. Um, so the first kid we will talk about is let's just piggyback from the game of the week. Walsh Jesuit senior quarterback, Keller Moten. Mm-hmm. Um, I said it earlier in the year um, in a regular season. He was my number one candidate for Mr. Football in Northeast Ohio. Um, if I had to rank them, I'll probably have somebody right on the side of him right now. I, I think it's two number ones right now. Um, but Keller been playing great ball all year round. Um, the thing about Keller, he's a dual threat quarterback. Can beat you with the arm, can beat you with his feet. And the thing about Keller is he got a flair for the dramatic. He got mm-hmm. some swag to him. He got some boogie to him. Um, he got moxie. He got confidence. You know what I mean? So Keller is one of them type of players that I can see being Mr. Football for sure. He's been leading his team all year long, 13 and 0 in a tough division two in region five to get the number one seed. That kind of lets you know what type of ball he's been playing. So shout out to Keller Moten. He's definitely one of my candidates for Mr. Football in Northeast Ohio. Second guy I got, junior, Glenville junior athlete, C.J. Newell. More of a running back, but I still like to play him as athlete because he play a lot of positions. 5'11", 185 pounds. Kid been going to work all year. Um, he's one of the better running backs in Northeast Ohio, but he's been that tone setter for Glenville. He's been that spirit animal for Glenville. He's been that dog for Glenville. And another reason why I put him on this list, bro, because he had big shoes to fill. Mm-hmm. Deshante Jones was a bad boy. You already know it. I know how you feel about Deshante, <laughs> man. Deshante yeah. was a bad boy, and uh, we ain't just talking about football, right? We talking about what he brought to what the he whole to team, the whole right. the community, the team, right. the swag, that dog mentality, and also being the man on field. Give me the ball, get on my way, I'll take us home. Mm-hmm. I feel like CJ took that baton and ran with it. I feel like he's the same type of player, different play styles. But the attitude, the swagger, the, right. the, the tone set. Embody that Glenville he swag. It. Right. He embodies it, man. So shout out to C.J. Newell. He's definitely one of my candidates out of sure. Northeast Ohio for Mr. Football. All right, now I'm going to go back to the top. Um, senior, Northwest, senior quarterback, Chase Badger. A lot of people don't talk about Chase. Six foot, 175 pounds. I'm going to tell you why you should talk about him. This year, Chase, he threw for 2,454 yards. 26 touchdowns on 70% completion, right? Also, he runs the ball for 654 yards and eight touchdowns. So on the total, he went for 2,700 yards, 16, 2,716 total yards, 34 total touchdowns. Led his team nine and three, big time year. That kid went to work. Anytime you got numbers like that and your team is winning, you should definitely be a candidate. So shout out to Chase, man. Keep doing your thing and good luck to you in the future. Our fourth candidate. Maslin, senior running back Jameer Gamble. We uh, we seen Jameer up close. We seen him against Hardy. Seen him against Cam McKinley. He had a he had a three four week stretch when he was going ridiculous. He was going crazy. Um, right now on the season, he got eleven close to twelve hundred yards, sixteen rushing touchdowns, eight point two yards a carry. Also got a touch a touchdown on receiving, so he got seventeen total touchdowns. And I had to put him on there because I believe like on offense, he's their best player. Anytime when you see Maslin, you know how good they are. I feel like he's the straw that stirs the drink there. Shout out to Jalen Slaughter. Shout out, shout out to Braylon Toll. Shout out to Ja Carter, Mylon Lennox, Nolan Davenport, all them guys that kind of bring their offense together. But I feel like the one this year that kind of stirred the drink was Jameer Gamble. He's having a hell of a year right now, so shout out to Jameer. Our next candidate, West Branch, junior quarterback, Jeremiah Thomas. This another kid, bro. Listen to these numbers. 1,953 yards passing, 29 touchdowns, only two picks. So his touchdown to interception ratio, 29 to 2. He also ran for 945 yards, 9 yards a carry, and 15 touchdowns. So on a total, he went for 2,898 yards and 44 total touchdowns mm-hmm. on a team that went 12 and 1. On the team that went 12 and 1, and he's a junior, he's coming back. Unfortunately, he got hurt. They lost to Glenville week two of the playoffs. They only lost 13 nothing. But this kid had a big-time year. Um, like I said, 28, pretty much 2,900 total yards and 44 total touchdowns. 
he went to work. So shout out to Jeremiah, man. You had a hell of a year. Keep doing your thing. Our next candidate, Avon, senior, quarterback, Nolan Good, 6'2", 195. He's a Kent State commit. Um, right now, I got him for 2,771 passing yards, 27 touchdowns, also added 454 rushing yards, rushing yards and seven touchdowns. He also got a 42-yard touchdown catch. So on a year, he got 3,267 total yards and 35 touchdowns, leading a team that's 13-0 and and the number one seed in their region. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's I mean, everything speaks for itself. Shout out to Nolan, big-time player Nolan. We're fans of you here. He definitely had to be one of my candidates for Mr. Football in Northeast Ohio. Um, next candidate we got, Menor, senior, quarterback, Scotty Fox, man. West Virginia commit. Um, I only can find Scotty's passing stats, but right now passing, he got 2,638 yards, 33 touchdowns, 66% uh, completion rate. So he's doing it all. That's not adding to the fact that he has probably five, 600 yards rushing, probably another eight to 10 touchdowns rushing. So he probably over 40 total touchdowns. He probably over 35, 32, 33, 3,400 total yards on a team that's in Division One, Region One, 13 and 0, number one seed in that region. He's been going to work, man. So shout out to Scotty Fox. That was that was an automatic candidate for Mr. Football in Northeast Ohio. Last three we got. We got two local. I'm gonna go to two local last. Lake senior running back linebacker, Charlie Christopher, 6'1, 225, Ohio U commit. Talked about him last week. Big time football player, man. Big time football player on offense, 855 yards rushing, 11 touchdowns at 5.6 yards a carry. So when you hear that, you go, okay, got a pretty good year at running back. But then when you add on the fact that on defense, he gave you 120 tackles, 120 tackles, 23 TFLs, and eight sacks. He was getting it done on both sides of the ball, mm-hmm. man. Also had a 100 yard kick return. There's another kid, 6'1", 225. You ain't going to be thinking he's going to be back returning kicks. Throw in there a kick return. So on top of all of that, he also gave you a 100-yard kick return, pretty much close to 900 yards rushing, 11 touchdowns. On defense, he gave you 120 tackles, 23 TFLs, and eight sacks. That kid had a big-time year, man. Mm -hmm. Shout-out to Charlie, man. You had a hell of a year, and good luck to you at Ohio U. And our last two candidates for Mr. Football in Northeast Ohio is two local guys. All right, so the first one we're going to talk about is Ursland, senior quarterback, athlete, D.C. Farrell. Um, D.C. been going crazy all year, but he, he done turned this game up in the playoffs. He done turned this game up. Um, and for a kid that's a dual threat type of quarterback, you ain't going to be expecting to hear these type of stats, especially passing. Right now he got 1,945 passing yards, so he's 55 yards away from 2,000 passing yards on 61% completion. His quarterback rating is 126.8, and he threw for 24 touchdowns. On top of rushing for 839 yards and 14 total touchdowns. So total, I'm sorry, also averaging 6.5 yards a carry. So in total, D.C. got 2,784 yards, 38 total touchdowns, and he he done raised his game up in the playoffs. He done took his game to another level on top of being the leader of a 12-1 team Number one, number one in their region, and we know Ursuline got state championship aspirations with a chance to get there. So he's the one. He's the leader. He touched the ball every play. He's one of the better playmakers, one of the better players, and one of the better leaders on the on the team. So I've just felt like DC had to be one of them ten candidates that I named for Mister Football in Northeast Ohio. And our last kid, we talk about baby. We got to bring it all the way back full circle, man. <laughs> we got to come to the dub, Warren, Ohio, man. Shout out to our guy, man, Warren G. Hardy. Court senior quarterback, athlete, edge player, Chaz Coleman, 6'6", 225 yards. Shout out to Chaz. Congratulations on your commitment to Penn State, baby. We proud of you. Um, go do your thing and good luck to you in the future. Now, when you listen to Chaz's stats, this is his regular season stats. So this is this is not adding his two playoff games that he played in. All right? So on offense, Chaz, 1,240 total yards, 607 rushing, 542 passing, 90 receiving for 15 total touchdowns, right? Mm -hmm. Seven rushing touchdowns, six passing, two receiving. Then on defense, he just gave you 70 tackles, 16 quarterback pressures, 14 tackles for loss, eight forced fumbles, 
eight forced fumbles, five sacks, three interceptions, a fumble return that was a touchdown, that, and he had two defensive touchdowns, one pick and one forced fumble. I haven't seen a kid with a stat line like that in a long time, man. Um, so shout out to Chaz. I definitely feel like he should be a top 10 candidate in Northeast Ohio for Mr. Football, just for what I said. He was right. throwing it everywhere. Offense, defense, on offense, he's throwing, he's running, he's catching. On defense, he's dropping in coverage, he's coming off the edge, he's playing the run. And then more importantly, the thing that, that stuck out to me was eight forced fumbles. That That's a knack. That's something that you could try to teach it as much as you want, but that's something that's a knack that that kid has. Um, and I feel like Chaz put it all together for a senior year, clearly had his best year of his career. And I think clearly he's one of our best players we got in Northeast Ohio. And I think that's, you know, all the evidence is just look at his recruiting, look at the offers he's picked up in the last two, three months. And more importantly, look at him just being able to commit to Penn State last week, going to a Big Ten team that's right now rated in the top five in the college football playoff. So that's my team, bro. I didn't put them in no order. I just came up with 10 candidates in Northeast Ohio. I feel like that should be up for uh, Mr. Football. Well, that's a great list. And, 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 you know, I I just got to uh, say – just like the, with the, with the, remember you at the beginning of the, you was giving Keller Moe and his yeah, your, yep. your number one candidate yep. for play of the year. Um, not I have to I have to give that same that same uh, reverence to Chaz, man. Because right. if you if along with all those stats mm-hmm. that you just mentioned, right, you had to look at also last year. This kid, could you believe? Everything you see him do, because you believe last year this kid was in a, a quarterback competition yep. to start the season. Yep. All right. Uh, inj- a few injuries like got banged up a little mm-hmm. bit last year. Then add to that, a new coaching staff comes in, right? And um, the fact that they put put everything on this yeah. kid. Like You're the you, senior leader. If you look at a, a lot of other names that you had on the list, you can they'll have a one or – at least one more, more than likely two or more kids that's going to a program that that same size that those those uh, candidates that you listed may right. be going to. But if you look, if you look on, it's not taking nothing away from the team concept right. of Harding, but if you look on that roster and you look at Chaz didn't have another Chaz right. or, or or two or three on, on that roster. Uh, he was asked to do a lot from week one. Yep. From from for out to gate. 12. You know, and um like Coach Birch, like Coach Alfie Birch had said at the Camp McKinley game, he was saying, you know, some things are for dudes. Yeah. And this year, you know, he they were they was gonna challenge Chaz to be one of those dudes. And I, I don't think he uh disappointed at no, all. He did not and um my all. sources tell me that um he he going he might be wearing number 11 at Penn State. So if you wear number 11 at Penn State. <laughs> that, so LeVar Arrington, Michael Parsons, Michael Parsons. Right now they got a kid named Abdul Carter who mm-hmm. be top 10 in the draft next year. Um so if he if he if he's blessed with that privilege and that honor to be able to wear number 11, that just lets you know what the coaching staff what at they Penn think State about him right. Be. And if you watch Chaz I'm assuming he's going to be an edge player at Penn State. If you watch this kid come off the edge and does things naturally, I'm not talking about the stuff he's getting coached to do, the stuff that he can naturally do. If you envision him two, three years from now with 30 pounds on him, with the same athleticism, if anything, he's going to get bigger, stronger, and faster. With D1 coaching, the sky's the limit, man. The sky's the limit, man. Chaz can go – and go change his life, his family's life, man. And, you know, here, that's what we hoping to do. Um, we big fans of Chaz, man, so we hoping Chaz go do his thing. And like you said, if if if, if they're even thinking about that, that lets you know what they think he could be, man. And um, he put it all together this year, man. He definitely did. He put and, it um, all together. You know what I'm saying? Like, we get to we get to see the we get to see even when we at other games, you know, we get to come home and watch, yeah. watch you in every every game, mm-hmm. you know. He he's doing he's he's living up to it like like Coach Burr said you know some 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 things are made for dudes yeah. and uh, he was he was one of them dudes this year so for sure. shout out to all the candidates on the list and big shout right. out to uh, Chaz Coleman already. The Coleman family um, and the hometown Warren G Harding Raiders you already know baby our coach.
Let's take it home. Let's take it home, man. Who we shouting out on our way out? Man, this week, man, I'm a, you know, I'm going to shout out the kids like always, man. Shout out my babies. I love them, man. Shout out all our supporters, man. All our supporters, mm-hmm. not just in Warren. And every community that we kind of been at, we've been getting love and great support from everybody. We appreciate it. Shout out Ursland, Poland, and South Range, man. We got three teams left mm-hmm. in the area, man. Two of them play each other. You know what I mean? But good luck to them this week, man. Um, y'all representing the Valley, so keep going doing your thing, man. We with you. That's Shout right. out all the players in Northeast Ohio who made any type of all-district team, first team, second team, honorable mention. If you made a team, it don't matter. Congratulations to that. Shout out to Nephew over here on the ones and twos. We got the best producer, man. Y'all hear me say it every week. One of the most talented people I know. Um, sure. Sky is the limit. We always talking about the sky is the limit as far as the football players. But I had a stellar stock report just for people. <laughs> nephew would have been on there week one, man. So shout out Nephew, man. I really, really appreciate you, Nephew. Keep doing your thing. And shout out you, bro. Shout out the family, man. You know, season two. We got a couple more weeks, man. You for know sure. what I mean? Season two, bro. Got it from the mud. We here. Um, you know, every week ain't perfect. You know, life be life and stuff be happening. But we going to show up. We going to be here, bro. Man. And it's always fun. Every week is fun. Um, hopefully, or, hey, hey, at Twinsburg. Y'all know anybody at Twinsburg, man? Holla yeah. at us, man. We need yeah. to have our face in the place, man. Tell them hopefully check their email, again, man. man. Tell them check their email. And um, so we can be back out at the games this week having fun, man, this week. And that's it, man. Them all my shout outs, man. Shout out to the people, man. All right, man. Absolutely. Once again, man, shout out to the family. Shout out to the team, the interviews team. Shout out to all the supporters out there. We appreciate we appreciate you guys. That's what we do it for. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Ellie House, um, our sponsor you for our it. Game of the Week sponsor. Shout out to Phillips Care Trainer, our Pete Performance sponsor. For sure. Um, and you know what I'm saying? Shout out Coach Stella. It's, sure. it's, it's, yeah. Your uh, commitment to the community, your commitment to the show, your commitment to to the game. You did? For sure. And um, Bro. that's it, man. So hey, I got. Hey, hey, before we go, before you go, nephew, I need to make sure we get this out this week. Got a special announcement coming next week. You know what? I was going to do that, but then I. We got one coming next we gotta, week. We got to, yeah, definitely. Special announcement coming next week. Definitely. Make sure you tuned in. Stay tuned in. Interviews it's, TV on go, YouTube, baby. We're going to the Final Four. We tapped in, man. Final See y'all final. next week. Hey. Mario Manningham, stay locked in between the lines and Coach Stella.